We're just on a, a job site. Um, this is actually my house that we're, that we're building here at the moment. So um, yeah, I started an apprenticeship probably six months ago now. Got a, got a big interest in property development um, when I finished the game. So I just wanted to get my foot in the door and learn um, a little, some skills on, on the tools and, and really push forward in the, the property development um, space. Probably the main driver for me to, to start the apprenticeship is that I've got three more years left in my contract and I wanted to get to the stage where I've, I've got enough skills or I'm skilled up enough to be able to move into the, to the construction industry and not have to start from ground zero. So I think that's, hopefully I'll play cricket for a longer time than that, hopefully you know another five or six years I can play cricket and that will get me in a situation that I'm skilled up enough to come out of the game and have something to continue. I think, I mean the ACA, what they've done with the retirement fund puts you in a really good situation and not have to be working full time straight after you finish, you can kind of find your way for a little bit um, and that's probably my I plan to find my way for 12 months, but it gives me something to move straight into. You know, you want to be the best that you can possibly be, and I still want to be the best cricketer I can possibly be, but I feel a lot fresher than what I did five years ago. I, I got probably weighed down in performance and weighed down in what it took to play at the international level. Now I'm obviously a lot more chilled. I come home from a game and I've got my two and a half year old daughter and my wife at home doing building a house like this. You can take your mind off things. Um, so I think I'm a lot more relaxed and a lot more balanced and it probably reflects on my performances.